seven famous rapper clones. With immense popularity comes multi-million dollar mansions and cars, brand deals, and clone and look-alike replacement conspiracies? Apparently so. A clone is an individual who's identical to another, often depicted as being made in a lab. However, in some depictions, a clone can be a regular doppelganger posing as someone else. These conspiracies are among the most elaborate examples of what the human mind can come up with to explain things that otherwise wouldn't make sense, such as appearance changes, change in hand dominance, missing tattoos, birthmarks, and more. In today's video, we will cover seven rappers who supposedly have clones or androids. But first, for the start of the video, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to join this month's giveaway on some of the free stuff on your screen, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel. Watch the video till the end and then leave a comment with the keyword down below. Good luck, Eminem. Since the early years of his career, infamous Slim Shady has been subject to many rumors. But the one of him being an android is among the most far-fetched of them all. The conspiracy first arose in 2013, following his interview with BBC News. In the interview, Eminem told the audience to quote, stay out of his head, and stared at them for an uncomfortable amount of time before continuing with the interview. Strange? We think so too. For a while, the rumors had died down. That was until 2019, when artist Tim McDonald released a song entitled Cloned Rappers, where he claimed that Eminem died in 2006 after a drug overdose, and that Eminem's manager worked with the Illuminati to turn Eminem's cadaver bone sample into a clone of him to continue banking coin off his legacy. Take a second to let that sink in. You know it's a lot. Even crazier? A plethora of Eminem's fans believe this conspiracy to be true. The conspiracy theory fanatics believe that this explains Eminem's drastic change in appearance, transitioning from a blonde-haired boy to a brown-haired man, beginning to show signs of aging. The more reasonable explanation for Eminem's changes is his long history of drug abuse, alongside his stressful and traumatic past, which can drastically change an individual's appearance over time. Alongside his physical changes, the content of Eminem's lyrics has also greatly evolved. It has gone from speaking of violence to his more recent songs, which tend to be more reflective of his experiences and aspirations in life. But as Slim Shady says himself, he is the rap god. So perhaps that is his confession that he isn't human after all. Kodak Black It's well known that prison is capable of changing a person. Whether for better or worse, that depends on the individual and how they choose to spend their time there. Kodak Black was in prison for one year back in 2018 for possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, as well as possession of marijuana, and again in 2019. Though his total charges were eight and he was facing up to ten years in prison, he was able to make a plea bargain for just under four years. However, before the former United States President Donald Trump left office, he pardoned 143 people, Kodak being one of them. Kodak was seen for the first time since his release at a Tampa Super Bowl party, and his appearance shocked many. It seems as though Kodak lost at least 30 pounds and seems much happier than before, leading fans and conspiracy theorists to believe that Kodak Black was cloned by the government. Skeptics clapped back at the allegations. One Twitter user said, quote, Why would the government clone Kodak Black, of all people? We say that a change in appearance isn't quite enough to make us believe that he was cloned. Feel free to give up further proof in the comments below. Trippy Red Following the lead of Kid Boo, who we'll discuss later, Trippy Red also came out as a clone in September of 2018, specifically Generation 3 model. In an Instagram Live video with Kid Boo, Boo told Red that when he broke out of the cloning facility, he saw Red's name on a document conversation continued to speak about the different models and generations. In a later report, over 7,000 people commented, over half of them trying to find flaws in the two's story. However, to this day, the two continue the claim that they are clones. Gucci Mane During his three years behind bars between 2013 and 2016, Roderick Delontic Davis, professionally known as Gucci Mane, underwent a full body and spiritual transformation. Davis was imprisoned for his third and final time for possession of a federal firearm. When Mane re-emerged as a seemingly happier and healthier version of himself, fans concluded that cloning could be the only reasonable explanation. Many aspects of Davis changed, including no longer flaunting guns in the content he posts online and wearing lighter, looser clothing. Mane even jokingly went along with these accusations for a brief period. In an Instagram post, his caption read, quote, Clone? What clone? However, Mane would later admit in an interview that, quote, just lets me know that a clone is like perfection, so if I look like a machine or a robot, evidently I'm doing something well. Despite Gucci Mane's confirmation that he is not a clone, many fans still believe that he is. 
The evidence that backs his fans' claims is that an ice cream cone tattoo that had been on Maine mysteriously disappeared after his reappearance, and conspiracy theorists will not let it go. The media has yet to receive a response as to what happened to the tattoo, leading many to be firm in their stance that the Gucci Mane that we see now is indeed a clone. 21 Savage Back in February of 2019, 21 Savage, whose legal name is Shea Ben Abraham Joseph, spent a week in an ICE detention center after overstaying his visa. ICE is an agency that helps to protect the United States from across-the-border crime and illegal immigration, but has been often ridiculed for the subpar conditions they put the individuals in. This came as quite a shock to 21 Savage's fans, who accused him of putting up a facade. Though 21 Savage was born in London, England, he moved to Atlanta, Georgia with his mother and 10 siblings when he was 7 years old. When Savage re-emerged into the public eye following his arrest, fans compared photographs of him before and after, finding minor differences, and concluded that 21 Savage had not been in ICE custody, but had instead been abducted by the U.S. government and been replaced with a clone, Kid Boo. Typically, it's the fans who begin the clone and android room, but with Kid Boo, he not only edged on the fans, but supplied the theorists with an entire story of how it happened. According to Boo, he had a UFO experience that led to him joining the Raelian movement. The Raelian movement is a group of individuals who believe that life on Earth originates from alien life forms. Kid Boo has spoken about it in multiple interviews, revealing his model number and company even brought out the clone on an Instagram Live video. The being was identical to Boo, including the hair, tattoos, facial structure, and more. According to Boo, the clone cost him $2 million. In a Vlad TV interview, Boo stated that his first-generation model was born in New Jersey, while his second-generation model was born in Canada. Critics point out that Kid Boo does have a fraternal twin, but even then, the resemblance is striking. Out of all the clone and android conspiracies, if any of them truly has one, we'd have to say that it's Boo, Sui Generis. Following in Kid Boo's footsteps, Sui Generis, a SoundCloud rapper from the San Jose, California area, also hosted an Instagram Live video in which his alleged clone appeared. Many aspects of the video were quite similar to Kid Boo's, from sitting on the couch to the clone walking in. Sui Generis' stunt was most likely a replica of Kid Boo as a joke or a hit at him. Very few fans believe this one to be true. This is ironic considering that Sui Generis' name comes from the Latin phrase Sui Generis, which means unique, with Sui Generis' net worth being equal to a measly 100,000 compared to other rappers who were making millions. The chance of Sui Generis being an actual clone? Unlikely. Hey you! Yeah, you! You like this video? Great! We got another one for you that we guarantee you would like. All you have to do is click on the screen. It's free and without any hidden fees. But you have to click fast because this message will self-destruct in... 5 seconds.